Do you know the difference between good and bad communication? Good communication has two properties. You express your feelings openly and directly, and you encourage the other person to express his or her feelings. You say how you are thinking and feeling, and you try to listen and understand what the other person is thinking and feeling. Bad communication, on the other hand, involves a refusal to share your feelings openly or to listen to what the other person has to say. Instead, you argue and get defensive. Another sign of bad communication is denying your own feelings and acting them out indirectly. Hi, everybody. I'm Tori Fitzgerald, the founder of Redesign My Life, and I want to help you redesign your relationships. People who can communicate effectively during times of conflict and strong disagreements are exceedingly rare. But these are the situations where good communication is vital. The key to intimacy, friendship, and success in business is the ability to handle conflict successfully. Let's take a look at a few characteristics of bad communication. Sarcasm. Your words or tone of voice convey tension or hostility, which you aren't openly acknowledging. Passive aggressive. You pout or withdraw or say nothing. You may storm out of the room or slam doors. Counterattack. Instead of acknowledging how the other person feels, you respond to their criticism by criticizing them. Diversion. Instead of dealing with how you both feel in the here and now, you list grievances about past injustices. Denial. You insist that you don't feel angry, hurt, or sad when you really do. In Build Relationships That Matter, we examine good communication and how to navigate through conflict in ways that don't destroy a relationship. Sign up today to find out more.